This is a low power view of a skin tumour with a very distinctive appearance. This is an example of a pilometricoma. Pilometricomas are also known as pilometricomas, and my favourite term that is the calcifying epithelioma of Malherb. These are adnexal skin tumours that are derived from the hair matrix. They are usually solitary nodular lesions and they occur in the dermis and or the subcutaneous tissue. They occur most frequently in children and in fact around 40% occur under the age of 10. They also arise in young adults. Pilometricomas occur most frequently on the head, neck and upper extremities. Sometimes pilometricomas may be associated with myotonic dystrophy. Grossly pilometricomas have a rubbery or hard consistency and vary in size from half to three centimetres. Histologically pilometricomas are sharply defined they are composed of nests of basaloid cells that keratinize and eventually lose their nuclei to become ghost or shadow cells. There are also areas of calcification that may, in areas, ossify. And another frequent finding is a foreign body giant cell reaction. On low power, you can appreciate that the border of the pilometricoma is well demarcated as we move into the connective tissue at the right side of the picture. These blue staining cells are basaloid cells and as we move along towards the left you can see that the basaloid cells start to lose their nuclei and eventually the cells are completely devoid of nuclei and these are ghost cells or shadow cells. And here is another view of basaloid cells that are showing abrupt keratinization. So the basal cells have this bluish appearance on the left and then towards the middle of the picture you can see a, quite a clear boundary between the basaloid cells and the orange staining keratin. This is a nice example of a sheet of ghost cells. And in fact, the individual ghost cells are very well defined. At the top of the picture, there are ghost cells that are starting to calcify and the calcification has become so organized that it is now forming bone as we move to the bottom of the picture. You can see this is lamella bone. And finally here is another typical feature of a pilometricoma and this is a foreign body giant cell reaction to the keratin.